Brad Tier T4 Warriors coming at you with another video on Chef Andre Rush. I do a 60-20 tour. I'll do about 60% of straight protein. I'll do 20 of those good fats, and then I'll do 20 of carbohydrates. If you think about this in perspective, you'll think about an Olympic swimmer or a boxer. They will eat six plus thousand calories, and they're still lean, mean, and people don't get that. I right? say, so I eat that much. No, you can't eat 6,000 calories. I do, it's because I have to exert a lot of energy. I kind of make the rock look like can't eat that much, but it ain't going to do you any good, to be honest. Push-ups, <laughs> that's an hour and 15 minutes, I go and I have some coffee. Coffee is my little go-to. It's been from years of being in the military, and it usually tastes like mud, but it's my comfort level for me. Coffee actually can put me to sleep. For my breakfast, it starts off with 24 whole eggs. I do 20 whole eggs without the yolk, and I'll eat the other four whole. I do soft boil. That way they go down a lot easier, a lot smoother. Then I'll also have me a protein shake. I'll so you just had like... I don't know, 100 something grams of protein and now you're going to add another 50, 70, I guess. The old chicken, broccoli, and rice snack. Uh, add a little uh, sipionate and a little dash of uh, trombone sandwiches on your sizzle. This dude is like late 50s and is talking about working out like two hours in a day after you just done like a 16 hour day with two hours of sleep.
all this kale, dude. I ain't having it. I ain't having none of it. So, here's where I wanted to really step in, in terms of, so, you know, his big thing is the 2022, you know, push-ups a day for veteran suicide. Well, right now should be the time in which we're talking about how, what's related to veteran suicide. Well, it's traumatic brain injury, and how does traumatic brain injury um, work into the supplements part. Well, it's hormone replacement. This guy's obviously on hormone replacement. He's obviously getting his hormones optimized. You can't be in your 50s and hang on to 200 some pounds of solid muscle. It's just not how it works. And if we're going to actually be talking about um, supplementation, men's health should be promoting the fact that, okay, we have these issues. How do you solve it? How do you treat it? Well, you do hormone replacement, you take a look from cholesterol and testosterone all the way on down to the, the hormone cascade, you solve the thyroid and the cortisol and uh, the zinc and magnesium, and we focus on how to get people stable and healthy. Well, this 10,000 calories ain't doing it, and doing the, the, the 2,000 push-ups ain't doing it. What would be honest and what could be better is if we're going to talk about veteran suicide, we talk about supplementation, getting with a hormone replacement clinic, getting your hormones treated, getting healthy, and moving on with your life. And men's health can't be honest enough to do it. Andre Rush can't be honest enough to do it. And it's uh, pretty shady. And uh, if we're actually going to be solving these problems, we have to be honest with ourselves and honest in how we uh, deal with these issues. Um, 
accidents. So I challenge you, if there's a veteran, there's an athlete, there's a car accident survivor, there's any sort of trauma survivor in your life, whether it be a cop or construction guy who fell off a roof or you know whoever it may be, they get their levels checked, they need to, instead of what this guy is just doing, throwing a bunch of supplements at a problem, um, where we know he's doing HRT because you can't get 22 inch arms and be in your 50s and maintain <laughs> over 250 pounds of uh, lean tissue, it's just not possible without hormone replacement therapy. And from my understanding, he's a veteran. I think he was in combat, so he's probably on HRT anyways. So um, I challenge you to get your levels tested, figure out where you're at, um, and tell the other people in your life. And uh, bring more awareness to this issue because we need more and more people out there to uh, be open and honest. Thanks for uh, checking out uh, TRT for Warriors. And uh, please join the group on Facebook, which is TRT for Warriors on uh, Facebook. And please subscribe uh, to the channel as well. You not only help myself with traumatic brain injury, but uh, you're helping others. You guys be safe. Thank you.